why I have long nails. Oh no, it's sleep. Oh no. Mmm. Good night, sweet prince. Ooh. Pro food flipper, by the way. What have I done? Oh no. It's me and today we're gonna be trying out some more TikTok food hacks. I'll waste my time so you don't have to. Okay, we're gonna grab our bread, cut off the crust, roll it out, add some Nutella, some strawberries, roll them up. Oh, we making French toast out of this? Rolling it in egg. Oh, this looks bomb. Oh, we got some fancy French toast, hot pocket, Nutella bread. Fancy. I really hope my gluten-free bread can roll out like this. I can't wait to try this one because it looks delicious. White bread. Cut the crusts off. You see, I usually love the crusts. We're gonna have to slice it off. This is so small. We're gonna be using gluten-free bread because I can't eat regular bread. And I don't have a rolling pin, so we're gonna use a glass. I'll roll it out. This is still really tiny. Roll, dang you. Oh no, it's sticking to the, oof. Pop an egg. Mix it up, this is gonna be our egg wash. So there's some Nutella on that bread. And then I like Nutella and banana better than Nutella and strawberry, so I'm gonna put some banana in. This is really small. I'm gonna have to make multiple. Okay, I tried to roll it up. Okay, there we go, we rolled it up. That banana did not make it. And now we have a little Nutella bread roll. Anytime I do French toast, I have to put like cinnamon, nutmeg, or whatever in the egg wash. Can't just do straight up egg, my dude. And then pop it in. It out, make sure it's covered real good. And then pop it in the pan. Check out this little baby roll. This is why I have long nails. Ho ho. She is done. She's done. Sun. Pro food flipper, by the way. She probably let this cool down before I take a bite. Eventually. Okay, so it is done, and I'm gonna see if I can. Oh no! My Nutella bananas. Ooh. Mmm, that's really good. This is so good. It's like French toast baked with Nutella and bananas. You wanna bake? I'm good, huh? 10 out of 10 hacks. Apparently, we've been eating vanilla ice cream wrong this entire time. Newsflash, you're eating your vanilla ice cream wrong. So get your vanilla ice cream in a bowl and add a drizzle of olive oil. Before you tell me I lost you at olive oil, just trust me on this one. Add a sprinkle of pink Himalayan sea salt and enjoy. I'm not saying this tastes horrible, but y'all really just drizzled as much olive oil as I used to fry chicken on a family size sundae. And I know some people are like, ugh, salt and olive oil? I do love me a salty sweet dessert. I don't know about the olive oil, but here we go. This is supposed to be game changing. Vanilla ice cream. Now, I'm not really a big fan of vanilla ice cream, unless it's like with a chocolate chip cookie or like a pastry or something. Olive oil. I'm not gonna put a lot, because this kind of grosses me out. So I'm just gonna put like a little drizzle. Okay, and then the Himalayan salt. I don't know how much I'm supposed to put. Okay, bone apple teeth. That's on oily, salty ice cream. Mmm, wow. You know what? This salt is really good on ice cream. It's so weird. It's not like regular salt, but bro, I paid $7.99 for this little bottle. That's pretty good and I'm mad. I'm not really tasting the olive oil as much. I would've just been fine eating salty ice cream. Cause it's pretty good. Baby, 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 you have to try this. It's okay, it's good. It's good when you don't think about the toppings on it. Like if I didn't tell you what it was. He's like gross out by the idea. Yeah, the idea of oil was really weird. I had a really salty bite. It's a middle of the night food tutorial. Ask for the flavors, blue raspberry, Baja Blast, strawberry Skittles, and don't mix. Add extra sour sauce. I didn't even know they had sour sauce. I feel like this is gonna be based 100% on the employee making it and how little they care about your TikTok aesthetic drink. But it doesn't mean we're not gonna try because it does look pretty good. Can anyone guess how much kids they got? Thank you. Oh my god, this is leaking all over my hands, so let me find somewhere to like park. Okay, so it is really pretty. I kind of wish they put more like Baja Blast. It seems like there's so much strawberry in it. So they didn't have the blue raspberry anymore, so they said there's pineapple instead, which honestly sounds bomb. I just wish they put more green in it. Ooh, boy, I'm not gonna lie, that's pretty good. 
The pineapple with the strawberry, that's just, is bomb. I don't even like super sweet slushies like this, but besides the fact that it's leaking all over me, this is pretty bomb. I wish they could let me make it myself though. I would have made it like an actual proper rainbow. And this was only $1. Starbucks punch in the air right now. <laughs> Can you feel it? Don't get it close to your face. <laughs> I have a half empty jar of ketchup. I'm gonna open this bad boy up for some baking soda. How much are we supposed to put in? Okay, that's a lot. Jiggle the excess off. And we're gonna tighten it real tight. <gasps> it's like getting really big and thick. What have I done? See you later. I'm gonna be cleaning ketchup the rest of the day. Goodbye. This is a legitimate dinner hack. We take in a whole entire block of ground beef. Gonna season it. Put some veggies, potatoes. Oh, 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 yes, ma'am. And then throw it on the BBQ. I'm not gonna lie, that look good. I love me some party food like this. And an easy dinner with no dishes. I got my ground beef. Gonna take some aluminum. I think we're gonna do two of them. Cause this is not the heavy duty kind. Boom, meet the ball. Okay, I'm gonna salt it, a lot of salt. Put some garlic powder, put some Italian seasoning, paprika, smelling delicious already. So my fixins and mixins of choice, we're gonna cut up a potato. Boom, I got a little onion left, throw that in there. You see, when I cook, I try to make the least amount of dishes possible. And with this, there's no dishes. It can be chunky pieces of onions. Who need a cutting board when you can cut in the air? I want them somewhat mixed in, so I'm gonna just like take this and... Not the Italian seasoning. Anyways, this is what we got. We're gonna wrap it up, pop it on the grill. Ooh. A few moments later. I just took this off the grill. It is burning hot. We're gonna open it up. I mean, it looks cooked. Cut it in half. These potatoes aren't done. The meat looks done. I'm gonna try it. Okay, the potatoes need to be cooked longer. No, actually some of them are pretty soft. I'm gonna have a little bite with the meat and the potato. Mmm, that tastes way better than it looks. There's not looks that good, but it tastes delicious. It's basically like a giant meatball with some potato. I mean, it's an easy meal, no dishes, and healthy. I thought it was an okay hack. Let's get the boys taste test. Very good. That's good? Here you go. Wham bam, that's lunch, ma'am. So apparently we've been drinking these wrong. The reason it says Frappuccino is because we're actually supposed to turn it into a Frappuccino. Okay, but what if you don't got a blender? I have to buy a blender solely for this hack. I've been so many years without a blender and I'm finally buying one just for this hack. So you know these Frappuccino bottles that you can buy in the store? I always try these and be like, this tastes nothing like a Frappuccino. So apparently you're supposed to make the Frappuccino at home by blending it with ice. Tee hee, just a little oopsie. But anyways, it's supposed to be really good. Let us try this. You know, I haven't owned a blender in years and I bought one just so I can try this at home. So they have this Frappuccino flavor that's salted dark chocolate. I'm like, dang, they don't even got this at Starbucks. So I'm like, if I can make my own Frappuccino at home, there's no way I'm using this whole thing. So much sugar, so much calories, straight up bad for you. And I like my Frappuccinos mostly ice. So we're gonna pop this bad boy in. Oh no, it's like, <gasps> New blender already ruined. At least my counters smell good. Oh my god, this is actually a frappuccino. Also, this is probably my first blender that can actually blend ice. Look at that. Hold on, and they get my middle straw. Wait, it's crusty. Let me wash it. This is really good. It's just like a frappuccino. 
I'll probably put in a little more. Mix it back up. You probably want to put in the whole thing. It's actually really good. Mmm. But anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment below which one of these would you actually try. And if you guys enjoyed, make sure to hit that like button in the face. And make sure you turn on notifications so you know when I upload. Click. Click. And subscribe to my channel. I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.